Peter, you've had some time to reflect on Saturday. What did you make of it? I thought it was um, obviously a very uh, impressive test match. Um, you know, I think two good, very two very good teams. Um, you know, in in a savage battle, and um, you know, I think credit to England. Certainly, um, their performance deserved the win at the weekend. Um, but we, we've come back. We've we've looked at our game uh, Sunday, Monday, and this morning, and um, there's loads of stuff that we could have done better. And um, you know, that's that's the uh, that's the thing we've that's the, that's the things we've been chasing down the last few days. Does a mature Peter O'Mahony look at defeats differently than the one ten years ago, or do they hurt as much, if not even more? It always hurts. Um, you know, you you want to deliver and win for your country um, or any team you're involved in. But obviously, you know, your country is uh, is top of the bus, and um, of course, defeats hurt. You know, um, and you know it's not something this team has been accustomed to over the last kind of you know two or three years, but. You know, looking back, you know the biggest learnings that we've taken f has been from games we've lost. Not saying that we don't learn from games that we win; we certainly do. But you know, you know, sometimes you know you you, you get a lesson, and and you've got to take it. And um, you know, we're taking a huge amount of positives from it, and and we're hoping those learnings can really focus the mind for us. You talked about getting lessons. What do you feel was the biggest one? Oh, look, we, I think I think the intensity that England showed, you know, was 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 right up there with some of the best, um, you know, certainly rugby they've played over the last few weeks. Um, you know, I don't think we matched their intensity, their their physicality. Um, you know, missed a few roles here and there. We did that that didn't allow us flow into our game, and and certainly our discipline. Uh, not that our count was very high, but some of the uh, discipline errors were quite costly. You spoke about discipline there. You talked about it straight after the game in your post-match presser. How difficult is that during the game when you see things going on to get everyone in and try and stop it or improve it, or is it just happen so quick that it's very difficult to control? No, it's something that we always speak about, and, and, and you know, if you're playing ahead of the game, it's it's easier to be more disciplined um, when you're chasing the game. Like we were a little bit, um, you know, English were England were putting us under a lot of pressure, so we were chasing bits and. You know that's when you can be. Um, that's when you can you know lose a bit of concentration or, or be a little bit desperate, and, and that's probably what we were at the weekend. You said there earlier that this team isn't used to defeat over the last couple of years, particularly under Andy Farrell. What's he done the last couple of days to sort of get the mood back up, if it ever fell, or how do you see it that way? Yeah, well, look, you, you have to take it on the chain, and, and and you have to own own the the performance and the result, and you know. One thing about this group, it's an honest group, and it's certainly there's no one in, in this group going to show you away from um, you know the lessons that need to be taken from the game, and um, you know that was the first thing that was done on Monday was was a review, and you know people putting their hands up saying you know that 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 you know wasn't there or, or guys weren't at it or whatever it was, and and you know it was very honest conversations like we have when we win, you know when when we dissect games we always find stuff that we. We have to do better, and 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 that's that's owned by the players and 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 the, and the management alike. So um, that's exactly what we did. A final one on Saturday. Even though you say you weren't at your best at the stage, you were seventeen points to eight up. Does it nearly hurt even more because you could have easily got it done? Um, I think you've got to look at it as a whole, and and look, we certainly had parts of it were were, were good. But you know, as an eighty-minute performance, we we weren't happy with it. And, and as I said, I think the the better team over the eighty minutes deserved to win the game, and that was England. Moving on, still got a championship to win against Scotland. They're going to be hurting, aren't they? They're going to be hurting, like like we're going to be hurting. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, certainly. Look, you know, the quality outfit. You know what I mean? And 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 I'm sure they're going to be looking back on on last weekend thinking. You know, could have done lots of things better, um, but you know we're in the same boat. So, um, you know, final weekend of, of the Six Nations, you know everyone wants to be able to shout, and, and there's plenty of teams in that in that category. So, um, you know, I'm sure it's focusing everyone's mind. Before the World Cup, when you played Scotland, there was plenty of chat. They said they had figured you out. They hadn't that day, which you referenced in post-match presser. This Scotland game seems to be a lot more quieter, which is quite interesting. There's normally a bit of chat from the outside noise. 
Yeah, look, I haven't, I haven't seen or heard a lot of it, but um, yeah, look, that's 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 their gig. You know what I mean? That's what what's their prerogative and what they want to do. Um, you know, our, our side of it is, I'm sure they're they're the same boat as is is trying to sort out a few bits and, and, and get ourselves in the best position to perform as well as you can on, on Saturday is the main thing. And as far as game plan for Scotland, the same, just a lot better than what you've done against England? Yeah, we we have we need to be considerably better, you know. Um, you know, you see the attacking threat that, that Scotland always poses, um, you know, be it up front or, or you know, some of their, you know, their, intricacies of their back stuff is, is, is very impressive obviously some very impressive individuals so um, you know we know we need to take a big step forward performance wise um, to be able to show it the weekend You have a four Six Nations Championship to your name what would a fifth one mean to you? Look, that's why we're all here that's what we want to do is win championships and um, you know that's that was that's certainly what we'll be setting out to do on Saturday Does it ponder in your head that who knows what will happen in 12 months' time, first game against England in the Six Nations? Does it ponder in your head that if you win the championship, that might be out in Ireland jersey, or do you see yourself going forward? No, uh, my, my train of thought slips to the game on Saturday. That's about as far as it goes, and then you pull yourself back to, um, to you know, the, the present moment and how you can, pref- I suppose, prepare yourself to be in the best state of mind and, and phys- physically state to... You know, deliver one of your best performances in Irish jersey. That's that's what we're aiming to do. And the final one: What do you still want to achieve in an Irish jersey? I want to win on Saturday. That's where you're stopped. Yeah. Brilliant. Thanks, Peter. Thank you. Spot on.